education in the 21st century. The Greek philosopher Aristotle once said, educating the mind without educating the heart is not education at all. The truth is education is the result. In the first 21st century, our children have a lot of opportunity, technically, information-wise, and so on. But the 21st century also presents them with great challenges. The biggest challenges is population increase, and with population increase, often uh, it's difficult to get employment. And when we don't get employment, then we become uh, hopeless. And with hopelessness come drug taking, crime, and so on. So this is the challenges faced by our children. Certainly, when we send our children to school to get education, it is not to pass exam only. Passing exam is only the beginning. What we want from our children, you know, at the end of their education would be uh, that they become successful, of course, in any endeavors that they would, they would like to uh, take. When we send our children to school, of course, we just don't want them to pass the exam. Passing exam is important, but that's just the beginning. At the end of education, we want our children to be successful in any, anything they want to achieve. We want them to be compassionate. We want them to be happy. In other words, we want them to be great leaders for the future. I believe the present education system are not equipped to do that. We need not only a reform in education, but I believe we need a transformation, a total transformation in education. How can we do that? And this is only my own opinion. Uh, I believe that when children enter kindergarten, all they need to do is to be happy, to enjoy you know, playing with each other. When they enter primary school, what's important there is not so much the technical knowledge, although this must be taught also. What's important in primary school is they learn about relationship about relationship with themselves, which is emotional skill, relationship with other people, which is social skill, but more importantly, also relationship with the earth, which is ecological skill. During the primary school, children also need to learn creative thinking. Why? Because at that age, they are so creative. The mind is so ready to be creative. If we miss that, it will be difficult to catch up later on. Now, when children enter high school, what's important there is, of course, more technical skill, you know, science, mathematics, uh, language, and so on. But we also have to teach them leadership skill. All the, the things they learn in primary school, we put them together as leadership skill. And many teachers said, where could we find time to do that? You know, at the moment, our curriculum is full. I think what I'm just talking about, leadership and critical thinking and so on, is very important. So we just have to make time. We have to cut down things that are no longer important. And there are many things that are not important. One, for example, is history. Learning when Napoleon Bonaparte was born, when he died, this means nothing at all. What we have to teach our children rather than history is leadership. We bring all the lessons from history, we put them together as leadership skill. We learn what the impact of great leaders, what will the impact of bad leaders to society and to the world generally. Instead of teaching geography, where children can learn better from National Geography uh, Channel, yeah, from, and so on, children should be taught globalization how globalization affected the world uh, and what we must do to, uh, to participate in globalization and so on. Only when we can teach children relational skill in primary school and leadership skill and critical thinking skill in high school, then when they enter university, we don't have to do that anymore. Now we can focus on technical skill, you know, like accountancy, management skill, and medicine and, 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 and all these things that they want to do. My plea to educator is, please transform our education to make it more relevant to what the children need in the future, say 10, 20 years from now. And if the education system don't do that, if the school don't do that, then teacher must do that in the classroom. Don't wait until the curriculum change. Teacher 
please do this in, to, for your children in the classroom. And parent, if the, your teacher do not do that in the classroom, you do that at home. Thank you very much. <music>